Hello from Gainesville, Florida. If you weren't expecting us to be in Gainesville, Florida at the beginning of this video, neither were we. Unfortunately, due to weather, today's racing was canceled, so we hit the road and enjoyed the sights along the way all day following the racers, and there was a lot of action. We also had a lot of fun last night on our way from Bradenton, Florida to Orlando, so we're gonna bring you that action in this video, so let's get right to it. Made it a mile from the track, and we got our first customer. No, we'll talk to him. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking to both y'all. What, what, what happened here? Yeah. Trust me, it'll be way more entertaining talking to him. What the f did you do? <laughs> what did I do? You're the, one that, you're the one that broke down a mile oh. from the track, not even. What happened? Well, first, first we leave the track to go get gas, <laughs> and somebody leaves the, the race fuel cell on and we run out. Okay. And now it's leaking all over the place. Why is it leaking, Greg? The race, the, the race fuel cell is now full. It's now full of pump gas. <laughs> Yeah, good job, Greg. Good I'm, gonna job. With, I'm gonna ride with you guys. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's a little bit of an issue. They got it fixed. They're good to go. Now let's continue on. We only made. We didn't even make it a mile from the track. Sick. We made it to a gas station. We're not quite to our first checkpoint, but we found a gas station. With a lot of people stopped here, so we're gonna walk around and see how people are doing. We got a sweet roller of you. Did you strap him in? What? Did you strap him in? Legally, yes. Does he look like he was like... No, he, he's not strapped in at all. He's just kind of hanging out there. He's a man. <laughs> we got the LS all-wheel drive. 3,000 GTs here. How are we doing? <laughs> you do any rolling burnouts yet today? When we left the track, <laughs> I got out on the road. <laughs> minute here, I'll do one right here. All right. <laughs> I love trailer burnout. The diesel trucks do the baddest, yeah. the baddest trailer burnouts. Woo! Dude, diesel trucks is where it's at. Yeah, it's I think that C10 is still doing a burnout down there somewhere. God. Damn. Awesome. Nobody's broke down yet, for other than the one car we stopped with. But uh, everybody loves doing trailer burnouts here. Oh my gosh. Dude, that orange and white C10, I swear to God, he held it for like half a mile. Dude. I swear. Oh, these burn trailer burnout photos are fire. <laughs> oh my God. One of my goals in drag week when we saw the Volvo wagon was to catch it on the road. And I think we saw him almost every day. And here at Sick Week, it's the first car on the road. And I am very happy because it's so cool to see that thing. That was my favorite car at drag week and one of my favorites here at Sick Week for sure. You got a wide one. It still looks good going down the road. Thanks. How's, how's the back seat? Not so bad at all. No? No, we were a little worried about the new shocks and springs. Oh, that's up, right. It uh, just runs right down the road, so, yeah. Beautiful. Only uh, 975 miles to go or something, right? <laughs> that's no, not too bad. I think it's like 800. Yeah, it's less than 800. I think today's only like 140, I just found out. Okay. I'm not too bad. About that. Nice short drive. How many gallons you got back here? 16. 16, all right. All right, go for a car. How was the gas mileage at Drag Week? It's not horrible. I mean, we don't really come out. We, I think we can drive for two, we drive like two hours. Yeah. Two hours. That's not bad at all. No. And now down here, we don't get E85, so we kind of run on 93 instead, so we probably can get even further. That's true. I'm not going to go as fast. No. Aww. Hi, puppy. Hi, look at you. Are you, you helping? Aww. Are you helping? Doggy. 
he's eating all my food. That's the best co-pilot right there. Oh, man, it's fun. She does talk back, though. Yeah? It's, it's a shame. What's her name? Angel. Angel? Angel. How's it going? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey, watch the paint. Jeez. Yeah. You're scratching Aww. me. She, you're so pretty. <laughs> She's got man. freckles. She's got 350,000 miles on her. Really? Yeah. I picked her up. I was coming back from Afghanistan and, uh, you know, I told my wife, I said, I need a dog. Well, I found her and she's just as crazy as I am, you know? <laughs> so we just hit the road, man. We haul cars. I love it. Yeah, have a good time. You want to tell them? What do you tell them out there? Huh? Say it louder. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, girl? Are you hungry? Oh, oh that's yeah, right. that's it. That's, yeah. That's so after seven years, seven years together. So no she's nine. Yeah, she just turned nine. So. I love it. What's the story with your shirt? Oh, so I'm glad you asked, man. This is my shout out to my little nieces and nephews. Oh, that's cool. That's the important part. No matter what I say, do not pull my finger. <laughs> hey, I want to give a quick shout out to a guy named Chris Robertson. Okay. So, yeah, we were in the military together, and he's at home. He's a quadriplegic. So, anyway, long story short, we got him a van, and his goal right now, he's getting over COVID. Mm -hmm. His goal is to make it to one of the drag drives. Really? So, that would yeah, be awesome. We'd yeah, love to have so him. We were really looking to make that happen. So, Big Greg Chris, racing fan. Chris, we got a lot of people cheering for you to get out here and do it with us, man. She's ready, man. <laughs> First trailer burnout of sick week. Not bad. Look at those marks. That's not good. <laughs> he is this popular that like this many people wanted to stop and see. Well, when the organizer's on the side of the road, you don't just cruise by. He's got people. He's got people. Yeah. He's got this guy. At, but yet, yeah, here he is doing the work himself. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Thanks, guys. All right, this is my job to annoy the shit out of you all week, buddy. <laughs> Remember Drag Week 2019? All over again. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rundown. What are we looking at? What are we doing? Uh, I don't know. We got something all of a sudden. All of a sudden, she wasn't happy. She was cruising along fine. So, hoping it's a simple, simple deal. Maybe just a bit of push out or something. Look at all the people that stopped. You're Mr. Popular, Tom. Uh, I, I can rip the head off, you know that. It's just oh. whether it's worth it is the only question. Steve, how is spare head? So right now you think the valve like married the piston? The big question is where is the piece of valve that broke off? What damage did it do? If it did a little damage, a new cylinder head, maybe a piston would be good to go. If it did a lot of damage, we got to basically remap. We should you know, reset the block. Here, so right. so, yeah. bring. Did Steve bring one? No. No? Oh, well. No, because we haven't broken. We haven't had an issue with them. That's the first time we've ever What you think, Tom? What's the spark plug tell you? Some of it's not there. That's a bad sign. It's not a great sign. It's weird. At a 2,000 RPM, just cruise down the road like everything's perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden, like, uh, seems like that too. Rat tat tat. Go and bump that again. That's a good uh, is that's, that, that's the valve, not the piston right there. Mm -hmm. So the valve's wedged into the piston. Right, so we know it needs a piston and a head. Good luck, Tom. Have a good one. I see how it is. What? You, what? No. No, I sent Kyle. No, I sent Kyle your location so he knows where to come in to check in. I just, <laughs> I left my sleeping bag at the hotel. I can't just stay here all night with you. So. Good. Sorry. Sleeping around with that. So good. Can't. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow driving this thing into the track, right? Yeah. Yes. No, 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 you need to believe. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, guys. the amount of work I get to do to make that happen. <laughs> All right, so they're going to get this thing fixed, and we're going to see them at the track tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We're going to do a burnout. We made it 
to checkpoint number one for the day. I believe we have two checkpoints on the first drive. Not a lot of excitement here at the first checkpoint. We are kind of a little later in the day. A lot of people left before we left the track. So we're going to back on the road, head to the second checkpoint, and see what we can find along the way. I believe Kyle is actually getting to Bailey right now. Kyle left after we did. I think Kyle's about to come up on Bailey, and maybe he'll find out whether Bailey's going to fix it or not. We'll see. Back on the road we go. Well, Fred and the boys just left Tom here about a half hour ago and said that he had some pretty major issues. We're going to check in with him and just say hi. You know, he loves he loves seeing the camera when he's stressed out, but <laughs> we'll see how he's doing right now. Fred said he just talked to you, but he, he might get lonely, so we thought we'd come say hi. What's the current situation with it? Uh, a valve, a valve head came off, so we wedged the really valve down in the piston. We put the bore scope in there, and uh, it's actually, and it's it's, it's definitely stuck oh, in there. Like we were yeah. just cruising along, like cruising along 50 miles an hour, 2,000 RPM, and I don't know, we're clank, 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 and I mean, thought whatever, maybe broke a rocker arm or something, like something simple, and then pull that off and that one's tight and then Ryan just kept loosening and loosening and loosening and spring came oh, with no. it so pulled the plug out the plugs end of the plug's gone we put the bore scope down in there and uh, you can see it wedged in there sideways the problem isn't like we got valves and pistons and um, springs and rods but we don't have a spare head and that head is beat to sh guaranteed mm -hmm. so so either way, you're going to lose a day with the head. I'm going to lose all that time fixing it and basically not even attending my own event because I'm probably thrashing on my car. So yeah, for the minimum, you'd have to take the head to a machine shop and get it fixed. Yeah, Yeah. once we got it off, and then I'd probably yeah. be missing tomorrow no matter what. And it's like, so... So what's the plan, Tom? plan is that we suck. Nah. We need to make it like 50 miles from the first track. <laughs> That's so. a great way to put it, Jackass. And we drop a valve and... Sucks. So now we're gonna go get the rig, and the problem is cylinders da cylinder head is damaged, so therefore we can thrash and do all that stuff. But I mean, end of the day, we're still screwed on the cylinder head. Best case scenario, we could get it in two days, so um, a spare one. But uh, so packing it in, we'll enjoy the event. We'll go get the Volvo, and we'll cruise in the Volvo and hang out with everybody and and watch this epic event with yeah. all the six second passes like i'd feel real bad if there weren't six second passes already oh, but like there's the already been stacked. some epic passes dave broke today so i i'm yeah. doing the gentlemanly thing and saying oh, is that, that what my it closest is? competition wasn't in oh I felt bad out. for him okay yeah, i got gotcha. you it just is what it is so all right but. well good luck so we'll see you right tomorrow see so. you in orlando in the Volverino. So. All right. yeah. See you, Tom. Yeah. So, unfortunately, worst case scenario for Tom Bailey, he's out of competition, going to get his trailer right now. We're going to hit the road, see what other races we can run into on our way to Orlando. Smile for the camera. We've made it here to Avon Park, Florida, Avon Park Museum for the first checkpoint at Sick Week. We're about, I think, about 60 miles into the trip. Looks like we missed some of the burnouts here. There are marks all the way up and down the street. Today we have two checkpoints over the about 150 mile drive. There's about 20 competitors here, and they're running pretty far behind because we're at the back of the pack. I just see Alex Taylor and Joe Barry pull in here. Let's check in with them and see what's going on. Hi, Alex. Hi. You run a little late today. Yeah, we're always late, but you know what? It's, it's such a short seven, drive. It's only 725. You're right. So it's really not that late, but the sun's set. Uh, yeah, so far it's been easy. I was like, we're already a quarter of the way done, so that's yeah. crazy because that never happens. Love uh, it. In like an hour. <laughs> car looks great at night. Thanks. I like the way it looks with all the Thanks. patina wrap. All right, enjoy the drive. All right, we are not quite to our second checkpoint. We just saw a line of cars on the side of the road. Looks like they're working on one of them. Yeah. Hi. It's oh, right. I'm here to annoy you guys. That's a nice nerd light you got there. That thing, I'm serious. That it's thing actually looks nice. Pretty badass, isn't it? What are we fixing here, boys? Crank trigger. Pretty sure the crank trigger went out and caught the tail end of it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. It was giving us some fits yesterday. And uh, Thank you. we kept saying we were going to change it and yeah. change it and get to it. And, uh, well, you know, drag week. Yeah. 
when you can get to it. And it's been doing good, and then all of a sudden just shut off. Side, the side of the road was the best place to change it. Yeah, it was, it was better to change it here than it was at the racetrack. It's better it's, here right now than Especially here in the rain. when it's dark and all that. Yes, yep. yes. Let's see if she'll fire. Yep. Let's see if she'll fire up. We'll see ya. Easy fix, trigger wire, or the crank trigger wire came off and they just put it back on, zip tied it so it wouldn't get caught on anything. And we we're heading back on the road. I believe this is gonna be our checkpoint. Looks legit. We've made it here to the last checkpoint on sick, day, sick week day one. We're in Celebration, Florida. This is Old Town, a little amusement park, uh, about a half hour from Orlando track. So that's gonna wrap up our road trip. We're towards the end of the pack. I haven't seen too many cars for a while, but we're here with Alex Taylor. She's made it, getting her photos to turn in the track tomorrow. And we're about to hit the hotel. <laughs> One of the rides is going right now. That does not look like something I would ever wanna do. Jeez. <laughs> Alex, would you go on that? I don't know. I don't think I would. I think I'm scared of heights. I'm not scared of speed, but heights That's, get... It's too cold for that. Look at them on there. Holy crap. That's like 300 <laughs> miles an hour or something. That's too much. It's too cold for that. We've made it to Orlando Speed World, and unfortunately the forecast for today is not good. It is a 90% chance of rain all day, so the sick week staff has decided to cancel today's day of racing. We've got racers filtering through here, taking a photo of their car at the racetrack. A lot of these guys have never been here. Some racers coming from overseas, other side of the country. So they really wanted to race here, but unfortunately the weather, as you can see, is very gloomy. It's gonna be raining for most of the day, starting in about an hour. So we're gonna be heading to Gainesville, Florida, and you'll be seeing us at that track for racing tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe to 1320 video for all the rest of the sick week action.